Abu Dhabi uh, Stem Cell Center uh, has started a trial uh, where we use the stem cells uh, to alleviate the symptoms of uh, COVID-19. The trial started actually first uh, like on the 4th uh, of April 2020 and, uh, and we enrolled around 73 uh, COVID-19 patients. Uh, who has um, the moderate to severe cases. And around, around quarter of these patients were, uh, were intubated and uh, in the intensive care unit. Um, so uh, the, basically the, the method is we, it's a non-invasive, it's a minimally invasive method where we collect uh, the blood uh, of, the, of the patients and then uh, we process it in the lab and then give it uh, to them uh, through a nebulizer or like an asthma treatment, like an inhalation. Uh, hopefully, and we are hopeful, uh, we're still too early to discuss the results as they will be out in a couple of weeks. Uh, we've seen favorable outcome. And when you think about this with regards to all of the various symptoms that this disease presents, what are the symptoms that this actually tackles? I would say it would concentrate mostly on the um, symptoms of the lung itself when it gets compromised, uh, such, a, such as maybe relieves the shortness of breath, uh, makes breathing ear, easier. Um, I would speculate also the cough uh, would be less uh, because the secretion would be less. So it's mostly um, alle alleviating those symptoms. And you have been on the front lines of this fight here in the UAE against COVID-19. How would you describe where the country is today? Because we've seen in the last several days, the malls are reopening. It's allowed that you go outside, be a little bit less socially distanced than we have been in the past. Yes, well, uh, the UAE has, uh, like I said, uh, they, um, uh, they implemented the non-pharmacological intervention, like, stay, like they emphasize, still they emphasize on staying at home, uh, avoiding gathering, and also their, their focus in, in infection prevention. Uh, so even with the most opening, there is very strict uh, um, uh, like instructions uh, on to what to follow when going into the malls in terms of the cafes, in terms of the 30% that are only allowed to be in one place, in terms of the sanitization, and all of uh, this all together. So, um, and also it's mandatory to wear a mask and uh, there will be a frequent kind of uh, um, cleaning and, and disinfecting the, the, the areas. Do you believe the country's beaten the curve yet? Um, I think we are reaching to uh, flatten the curve very soon. I cannot predict when exactly, but uh, we're heading there.